We'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure. So we had a wonderful stay here at the Pine Barn Inn. We'd like to say thank you so much to the Pine Barn Inn for hosting us this weekend. It's a really nice place to stay if you're headed over to Knobles or any other place in the area. Uh, Knobles is only about a 15 minute scenic drive and it's a really beautiful countryside. Like you just relax and, and soak it all up and it'll put you in vacation mode real quick. So highly, highly recommend staying here. They actually have two buildings that house the, the hotel rooms and then they have the main building here, which is where you check in in the lobby. And the restaurant is also located in here as well as the tavern and the ballrooms. So I'm gonna let you take a look inside of the hotel building that we've been staying in. Come on, let's go check it out. guys so we are about to head into the lobby of the Pine Barn Inn let's go check it out That's really cool. That is cool. Nice overview of the sitting area. Very comfortable looking couch there. This is a really comfy chair here in the lobby. You can just sit here, watch the TV, or you know, hang out with some friends or family and enjoy the beautiful lobby. It's really very comfortable and homey in here. So it's a great place to just relax. The Pine Barn Inn is 100% accessible and the accessible entrance is actually at the top of the hill. Um, it actually has a sign right here, so just to let you know that, peace of mind. The elevators are plenty large for wheelchair or scooter. This is actually where we're staying, the Sutter Tower. I like how they have the nice awnings over the doors as well, just in case it's raining. All right guys, so we just arrived at our room, the Pine Barn Inn, and it's room number 346. All right, we're going in. So immediately, we have a microwave, refrigerator, freezer. I like the fact that this one has a, a freezer in the mini fridge because, you know, if you have an ice pack, anything like that, makes it a lot easier. Especially, uh, you know, if you need to pack a cooler. Mini kitchen, so you have your sink, coffee maker, and some Seattle's Best Coffee then. Because this is a suite, you have a corkscrew, some washcloths, silverware, and under here have some coffee mugs and plates and bowls. Headed straight into the room, there is a nice sized desk and chair with some wine glasses. And of course they have a room service menu as well. Very nice lamp, provides plenty of light, and there are two outlets provided on the lamp, so that's very helpful. This is not only a sofa, but also pulls out to a bed, so you have plenty of room. See, there's a sofa bed right there. There's an ottoman, another lamp. There's some recessed lighting here, windows, so it's nice and bright from the outside. And then, of course, you have a flat screen TV, and some drawer space and a nice chair over there. Just wanted to show you this beautiful picture on the wall. This is the view from the window. Straight ahead of us is the bathroom. And of course the sink, bath cleansing bar, conditioning shampoo, shower gel, and body lotion, as well as a shower cap. There's a hair dryer there, a nice size mirror. Hi guys! There are plenty of towns down below the vanity area. 
course your toilet. Here's the shower. Coming out of the bathroom, if you go immediately right, you have the king bedroom. Two lamps here, and I love that these lamps have outlets in them. Now these look like they only have one. There's one on each side of the bed, so that perfectly takes care of all of your electrical needs. Another phone. Just do a nice visual for you. There's a big closet there. Ample space for all of your belongings. There's another TV and another sink and vanity area. I mean, can we just take a second to appreciate the size of this closet? That's perfect. I do know they have a lot of weddings here, so if you're concerned about the space as far as storing your wedding dress, I think you'll be all good here. This is what it looks like when you're standing in front of the closet, just so you guys see how much space is in this room. Like this right here is pretty much the size of a regular hotel room. Minus the bathroom. You can actually access the bathroom right here as well, which is nice. One more time. Just wanted to show you guys, this is so cute. This is actually the little little door hanger that you put out for your room to be serviced. And the other side says privacy please. This is a little, a little, um, what do you call that? Like a cross section, like a little stump. So cute. I love those. Okay, so we are currently in the Pine Barn Tavern. I just wanted to show you guys around real quick. Beautiful fireplace there. We are visiting the tavern for lunch. And I just wanted to go over the menu with you and we're gonna show you the food when it comes out. So here are the appetizers. They do have some soup here, but it's pretty hot outside, so we decided to not go with soup today. And then they have some salads. And they have some signature burgers. I actually went with the tavern burger. And they have some handhelds here. And then some mains. Everything looked really good. It was actually very hard to make a decision. So we're gonna go ahead and show you as the food comes out. Okay guys, so this is the tavern burger. I'll show you what it looks like. There. Look at that burger. It looks really good. Got the American cheese on there. For usual. Here is the poutine. It looks so fantastic. Can't wait to try that. Mom got pork poppers. These look really good. She cut one here. So you can see a cross section of it. Oh, that's awesome. Lise got fish and chips. It's had it. Mmm, that looks it's, really it's good. It's a very large portion. It is a large portion. And it does come with coleslaw and fries. Here is the patio seating, which is really nice. Just wanted to show you guys this real quick. Nice area to sit and relax and dine. Alright guys, so we are getting ready to enjoy a lovely breakfast here at the Pine Barn Inn restaurant. We're going to show you what they have to offer. They have a variety of egg options, some healthier options, savory options, and of course they have some omelets, and then you can order a la carte as well. So we're going to go ahead and put in our order. Good morning, it's breakfast. I'm going to try the French toast. I think I'm gonna build my own omelet. That sounds like a good idea. All right guys, so I have my iced tea for breakfast because I'm a huge fan of iced tea. And I tried it the other day for lunch, it was really good. So 
Went for that for breakfast. I'm gonna get the steel cut oatmeal with brown sugar and a side of bacon. I'm really looking forward to it because I'm pretty hungry after all that playing in Knobles all weekend. Just wanted to share with you guys that this is an amazing hotel if you're visiting Knobles. Very comfortable accommodations, very clean, just very relaxing here. Um, Danville's a pretty small town, but yeah, it's a great place to stay. Prices are very reasonable. Um, they have a great restaurant and tavern, so uh, they also actually have um, meetings here. So if you have a group that wants to have a meeting here, they do have that as well, like a meeting room. So you might want to call to inquire about that. And I will include a link down below to the Pine Barn Inn. I ordered the French toast. Comes with powdered sugar. And this is actually a side of bacon. Looks delicious. It looks really good. I got the steel oats with a scone and a slice of orange. Yum. And I got the same thing as mom. I got the um, steel oats with some brown sugar and a side of bacon. It looks amazing. And they have a little scone on here. All right, guys, we had a wonderful stay here at the Pine Barn Inn. We hope you'll check it out, especially if you're in the area. It's perfect for Knobles. Thanks so much to the Pine Barn Inn for hosting us this weekend. And we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Adventure.